Buenos dias. Good morning. <laughs> Today Good we're morning. in someone else's car. Filming <laughs> taco tours for the yeah. first time. Good morning. <laughs> there you go. I picked up yet another job on this. You know, somehow I was just supposed to come in for a couple episodes. I started out taking the trash. I <laughs> filmed the photos. Now I'm the driver. How did I get talked into this? How did this happen? Watch. Very, very soon it's going to run itself and I'm just going to be like, all right, Mike, where are you guys going today? I know, right? It's like, what the hell's going on here? So yeah, so out. we're... Uh... <laughs> We're taking Mike from now on for the longer ones because uh, he has the Prius and the Prius is good on gas and everything. So, <laughs> hey, it just worked out, man. It worked out perfectly. <laughs> All, right. All right, welcome back to Talk Tours. Hey, different I angle. I know you guys can see the different angle. This might stay. Like this. Yeah, now that it's getting longer, we took my Prius today. <laughs> yeah. Took my whip. Yeah. Oh, whip. Hey, you got, you got to pick up a few <laughs> pick up a few tacos in the whip. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're at Seaside Califas today. You ever been to Seaside? Uh yeah. I think, I think maybe once or twice. Oh yeah, that's right. You said you had a few boys out here. Yeah. That's right. And this is what next to the water practically right i guess you know it's kind of in that monterey area just a little bit before monterey mm -hmm. so yeah there's definitely water on the other side yeah so i mean uh it looks i mean we, we haven't really seen much of seaside but that looks like a cool town so far kind yeah of a small like beach town yeah so i hope we get to eat some good fish or shrimp tacos as we're close to the water i mean not to you say would, that you would think huh you would think but then again i guess oakland is close by the water too because we had some good fish tacos mm -hmm. there yep. but palo alto i guess palo alto is not too far from the water not too, either not too far yeah. i think yeah. anything in the bay area is <laughs> yeah, not too far true. from the water <laughs> well <laughs> if you still... get further in then like livermore yeah. or something like that is... <laughs> oh and also mikey is an iphone user now, so oh yeah he can't look look even he can't enjoy even. The dark side. No, basically, what uh, did you get? I got blue just to be different, so it's not black or white. Yes. Uh, but yeah, the all the GPS apps had stopped working on my old phone. It's about three years old, so I had no choice but to upgrade. And this just made a lot of sense since I shoot a lot of you know my weekly vlog clips on my phone <laughs> and you know the cameras and these things are amazing and i work off of a macbook so i can just airdrop the clips from this to the macbook so yeah bit the bullet went well, to the dark side welcome thank you <laughs> thank you yeah <laughs> so sounds good let's get started all right Seaside at Baldemiro's Taco Shop. Oh, that's an interesting name. It almost sounds uh, almost sounds Italian, actually. Baldemiro? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Baldemiro. It's a very good taco. Yeah, Baldemiro's tacos. You want to try your tacos <laughs> really good. I wonder we, if that's like somewhat racist. <laughs> we do that every time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds like that. Right. <laughs> they're, they're, very, like, this again. they're very good tacos. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. How about that? Yeah. Baldemiro. <laughs> see. Anyway. So they gave us a taquito de asada and shrimp. Damn. Yeah, I know which one you want to go after Whew. first. Man, you guys want to take a guess? My kind of guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Damn, it's packed, huh? Even the. It's packed, you know, it's really small. But even that salad, look at it, it has like yeah. tons of freaking vegetables. But these, these are the size we like, actually. Now, this is perfect size. Yeah. So, they also gave us a red salsita. They said the red one's hot, right? Yeah. And this one, green one, is mild. Yeah, well, it's think. always usually like that. The greener is the milder one. Except for one spot we hit up, I don't remember where the green was actually the spicy one. I'm definitely gonna have to add spicy because I love spice. All right, I'm gonna go take my. You know what? The shrimp spot. probably doesn't eat it because it's super flavorful already. So I'm just gonna add, and they added the good wedges of lime. That's perfect. Yeah, not stingy with the lime. Uh huh. Damn, these are good. juicy mothers. 
Juicy looking mothers. Oh, I didn't even describe it. Double white corn tortilla. It has bell peppers, onions, tomatoes. Kind of like a, like a, if you eat huevos rancheros, it's kind of like that. And it just has the shrimp. That was really good, man. Yeah. Super juicy. Dude, can you pick it up? Well, interesting. They put some rice in this one. Mm. It's usually a burrito tactic. Oh, wow. You don't really you rarely see it on a taco. This is really good. Wow, I've never seen rice yeah. on a taco. Damn. It's really good and juicy. I like the yeah. flavor a lot. Yeah. Wow, this is super different. Yeah, I mean, it's juicy, but the tortilla is still holding together very well. Damn. That's good. Shit. I'm going to add some of that red salsita. Get some spice. I usually don't like to make too much of a mess when I eat tacos, but here, <laughs> I, I don't mind it because it just tastes so damn good. Yeah, this is... This is a first in Taco Tours. Wow. How is it with the salsa? I like it. No? It's still good. Mmm. Oh, uh, we're starting off strong wow. again. Hell yeah. It's delicious. It's so funny how just one little ingredient changes everything. And Mexican rice is such a common thing to find restaurants yet you wouldn't think to see it on a taco yeah let's say so. burritos you see it all the time <laughs> uh-huh so i mean i was a burrito guy for the longest time mm -hmm. wow, that's pretty interesting really good um asada same thing i mean the size is the same it has ch really chopped up meat uh, cilantro cebolla and it has like a guac on it <clears throat> That looks pretty nice, pretty pretty beautiful. So we're both kind of really hungry this morning, so I'm <laughs> a little bit quiet. We're just really enjoying eating. Man, we freaking ate like pigs last night, but <laughs> apparently that didn't do anything. Now, what would you say is more common, white corn or yellow corn? Tortillas. Mmm. 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 This one's good. Mmm. It's solid. Mm. Not blowing me away. I like the shrimp one. No, it's this is, solid. This is solid. Hell yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. This is this is beautiful. Why is it beautiful, Sam? Use your mm. words. Mm. Wow. In the work of art. It's beautiful because la sala has the nice amount of fattiness in there. That gives it the nice carne asada flavor on the grill. You know what I mean? You know when you're grilling nasada and some of that fattiness is grilling up and you put it in a taco and you take some of that and with the meat, it's juicy, nice and tender. And that guac is beautiful too on it, you know? Mm. There you go, ladies. A little <laughs> fat on you, don't hurt. It just makes you juicy and more flavorful. <laughs> You're beautiful the way you are. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But if you want to hit the gym, hey, that's not such a bad idea. Mm -hmm. If you're hitting the gym, that would be a taco with one tortilla. That's dope. I like it. So both the tacos are really, really well made. Nice and nice and hot. Like I said, that that shrimp taco is special because I've never had anything like that. So that's, yeah, that's definitely a home run. That's definitely gonna stand out in my experiences eating tacos for sure. Yeah, for me, the shrimp taco is a home run. Mm -hmm. Carnesada, it's just solid. It's solid. Good. Yeah. yeah. Good spot. Wow. Really That's good cool. customer service too. Really oh yeah. Friendly. Super cool. And the place yeah. is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah. That's if you don't want, you know, those early morning early, tacos that are open for early you. birds, man. If you want, if you're early bird. And it's always a good sign. You know, it's 9 a.m. There's already a few people ordering tacos and just mm -hmm. waiting for it. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's a good spot. That's dope. All right. Next spot, let's see what you got. <laughs> We're at location number dos at the California something restaurant. California Mexican Taco <laughs> Grill. So like, we'll put the name yeah, there. Yeah, we'll put the name there. <laughs> but, but look at that. Yeah, they 
Ooh, Damn. So fancy. It looks really nice. Yeah, I mean, the tortilla is like made fresh and it's got like this fluffy texture to it, but mm -hmm. it's grilled. Yeah. Oh man, I'm really excited to eat this one. Yeah. The place is really nice inside too. I mean, it looks really chill, you know, if you want to have a nice little day with your girl. It's yeah, cool the vibe spot. in there, the the music they're playing is really chill. They got a lot of like cool little like charming, you know, like decorations in mm -hmm. there, little personal touches. It's a cool spot. Yep. So we have barbacoa and shrimp taco. Oh, I'm surprised you want to do the barbacoa first. You're a shrimp guy. Yeah, but we we tried a mini shrimp. We haven't tried enough barbacoa, I think. Alrighty. So it's one tortilla and it's handmade. You could tell right away. It's not a freaking store bought. And we saw him making it too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, it's big piece of freaking meat there with the cilantro cebolla and just that one tortilla so now you're saying the barbacoa is actually very similar to al pastor uh no to birria i didn't say birria i said oh. al pastor so you thought i said birria yeah like, oh, okay yeah so it's like similar to birria in what way in that it's all like it's like slowly being cooked and oh, all okay. that so that's why the meat's yeah. like all mashed yeah up. anyway enough talking time to eat do it Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> that is really good. Mm -hmm. Consistency of the meat, perfect. Melts oh, yeah. in your mouth. Still has a little crunch to it. Mm -hmm. Integrity of the tortilla is holding up fine. And it has that. That cinnamon taste that I love. Huh? Mm. Don't you taste that? If, like, it, if it's there, it's very light because I don't like it. Mm. I don't like, I mean, I don't like the cinnamon taste, but I like this taco. It's like some kind of cinnamon taste or something. I have a red salsa that we're, I'm going to try on the barbacoa. All right, since I'm a copycat, <laughs> I'm going to try it too. <laughs> you don't like salsa in the first bite though. Nope. Got to give it a chance. It's like if you guys, if you eat fa out there, don't put that hoisin sauce in the broth. I never you do that. Dip your meat in it. Some people do. <laughs> I never do that. You gotta give that broth a chance. Mm -hmm. See what that chef has. It has. Check out the skills. Damn seaside, you're a good taco spot. Mm -hmm. You're in the camera, bro. I can't see you. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, right. Shot's a little tighter today than since we're in my car. <laughs> sauce has got good flavor and a little bit of kick to it. Mm -hmm. It's a great spot. Yeah. It's another it's... home run for me. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about this specific top that was uh, a home run. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like I said, we haven't had, I don't think we've probably even had it, maybe. The taco tours. Two home runs? No, the, the barocoa. Mm, I think we had it once. I feel like we might have had it only once. So fish taco, it has like cabbage, cilantro, cebolla, red, red uh, cabbage. The the, sh the fish is like chopped up, and the sour cream I believe, which I'm not a big fan. Oh, some tomatoes too. Is that sour cream? It looks like it, or crema maybe, maybe Mexican crema too though. And that beautiful handmade tortilla. So let's see what's up. Hmm. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, this place is a winner. <laughs> Seaside, man. You guys got some hitters. She, I'm a little jealous. You guys got such good yeah. stuff out here. You know, um, what really makes this specific spot great is, you know, we met the owner and the chef and they're just, they couldn't be nicer too. Yeah. And even at the first spot, the guy was really nice as well. Mm -hmm. Seaside, you're a beautiful town. Mm -hmm. Seaside, I think I live, but I want to know. Sure. <laughs> Comment down below if you know what that song is. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you might be a little too young for that one, Sam. <laughs> but anyone who's watched the movie Major League, you're gonna know what that song is. Damn, <laughs> this guy just scarfed it down. I only took one bite out the fish taco. <laughs> you know it's good. This, this guy's not talking, just stuffing that thing in his mouth. <laughs> Can't help it. So damn oh good. <laughs> I wonder what I was He's like, mmm. Mmm, mmm. I'm not but, saying that. By the time you're done singing, I was already done. <laughs> oh my God. You just set a speed record, I think. I don't think I've seen him eat one this fast. Well, obviously, you like it. Like, you talk about the fish tacos. Well, I eat my. 
line. <laughs> Not much to say, man. It's just the fish is so freaking. It's like butter. It's like falling apart when you bite into it, and tortilla just holds holds really well. The crunch of the cabbage is perfect. I mean, and I'm not a big sour cream guy, but that Mexican cream is, is nice because it's not too much of it. So it, it gives it a nice little balance on that side. Well, another thing they, they did that, you know, we really love when we talk about is they chopped up the fish. Yes. It's not just one big piece of fish and uh -huh. they chopped it up. And often yeah. when we do that, the flavor is just so much better. Exactly. What do you think of that chili? I liked it. Like the sauce is good yeah I like it's, it. it's, it's got it's got some kick to it yeah. and it's got some good flavor mm -hmm. and you know the things of the cabbage it adds some crunch to this but also like aesthetically speaking the look it adds color really nice to it if you care i mean they really care about presentation here it, too it has that green and that red cabbage so there's two but uh yeah it's it's really good and like i said it, like mike said the spot is, is nice in there the, the owners and the chef are super chill I mean, sheesh, seaside, man. Is that two home runs in a row? I don't know if, have you ever had two home runs in a row? I don't think so, but this one, the first spot, only one of the tacos is a home oh, run. So this not, one's two out of two, I man. I feel like, for me, the first spot, oh, really? there was a home run too. Okay. Yeah, so far, all four tacos to me have been really good. So I have nothing to say. Ah, uh, let's see what the third spot got for this, this, these two, man. This is one of the better spots we've had in a while. In terms of cities, oh, like what, like what, Pataka specifically? No, I mean cities that we hit up that where it's really solid, like the whole city. Yeah, because mm. there were two out of three already, right? Yeah, unless this last one is gonna be like some big letdown. <laughs> but even if this last one's a letdown, it's these still, first two spots yeah. are really good. Yeah, it's still, it's still solid. Cool. All right. All right. We'll see what happens with the last spot. Third spot. Let's see what you got. We're drinking out some seaside. This looks kind of like a downtown area. Yes, yeah, very nice. Um, let's see what this is about. So third spot is Mariscos Puerto Nuevo. There you go, you guys can see yeah. it. Yes, yeah, I gotta be honest, Sammy boy, I'm not really excited about this one. <laughs> Usually when you see a bunch of vegetables, especially lettuce, it's not a good sign. Mm. And even the smell of it, it kind of smells like chow mein to me. It smells like, it smells like Chinese food. I don't know. Mm -hmm. so, we'll see, we'll see. We, we've say, been, you know, we've been proven wrong though. So. Well, but not too often though, not too often. <laughs> you know, to say that, our batting average is pretty damn good. <laughs> okay, so their thing was uh, asada. Of course, they had a lot of favorites, but we got it down to asada and fish taco. So what they did too is that she wanted us to try the soft taco, the soft uh, tortilla, and then also the hard tortilla, which is a fried like a Taco Bell kind of tortilla. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, the thing is, like, it's literally like a Taco Bell type of shell. And, you know, it's not, it's not birria where the whole thing, casabiria where the whole thing is fried. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, I keep talking this trash. I guess the only, well, I guess. Oh, you know what? I got a fried. Oh, you know what? This is on the side, bro. A salad. Okay. It's just a salad. No, but even on the taco itself, it's got a lot, right? Well, these hard shells, these are the ones that you really do have to eat sideways. Ah, uh, yeah. So I grew up eating taco bells. You get closer over here. So. I'm trying, man. Yeah, it's just a, there you go, there you the go. shot is really there you tight. Go, see? You got it, you got it. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of meat in the sasada. The uh, sasada is it's white corn, double white corn, pretty big. The red onions and cilantro i need to do salsa because it's too it's gonna be too blind for me try the salsa right here so right away the flavor is decent mm -hmm. but the meat is really rubbery uh oh the hell is this <laughs> what's in the salsa <laughs> i don't know why don't you show them <laughs> you can't even yeah, you can see the big chunks there i don't know what that is 
Guess we'll find out. <laughs> what is that? What the hell? Yeah, um, I mean, honestly, it just makes me think of Taco Bell. <laughs> Which, you know, I mean, like, I don't hate on those, uh, the Mexican pizza there at Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. But if you're, like, you're a legit taco joint, you definitely don't want to be... Your food shouldn't be reminding people of Taco Bell. <laughs> we'll see what the salsa does to it. No. Is it really rubbery for you too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hella rubbery. Yeah, it's, it's hard to eat it. Now what's interesting is, I mean, Seaside itself is a nice town, but like, where this spot is, is where this spot is, seems like it's kind of the downtown Seaside, so it's a little richier, a little nicer. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't you know it, the tacos aren't as good. <laughs> it's a little bit whitewashed, right? <laughs> a trend. Yeah, there's definitely a trend, you know. The more working class the area is, the wood, the better the tacos tend to be. It's so weird. Like, why can't uh, higher class places have good tacos? It's so weird. The fish, it's in, uh, well, it's not hard anymore, but it's supposed to be in a hard shell taco. Uh -huh. and, and it has, like, cheese on top and few vegetables like carrots and onions so let's check it out <laughs> man you're overwhelming me with your enthusiasm I here know, and excitement i know it's not that much and excitement guys, here honestly this is just a fancy taco bell taco uh-huh mm -mm. sorry Not working out. <laughs> I don't know what the guys that review this place is raving about because I don't know about that fish. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> you taste what I'm tasting? Oh, you haven't even tried it. It's a liar. Fake news. Mm. I mean, I'm still going to finish it just because when we do taco tours, the tacos tend to be my only meal for the day. <laughs> there are way too, way, way too many calories, so I'm going to try to finish it. I'll try to. This is a nice bright red sauce. Maybe that'll help it out a bit. <laughs> but yeah, this is not looking good. What I say, all those vegetables, especially <laughs> when you see a lot of lettuce, it's a bad sign. <laughs> I don't know, this, this fish is something weird going on here. Uh, uh, not working out. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointment. We almost had a full home run episode. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try the soft shellfish taco. I think I'm just gonna try another bite of the saw. <laughs> wow, the fish is that bad, huh? Uh huh. For me, at least. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what it, uh, it honestly tastes like? <laughs> Old fish. <laughs> old fish that's just been cooked like really thoroughly to hide the fact that it's already old. That's what I was, I was trying to figure out a word for it. It just tastes like something. You know what it reminded me? I think it was tuna or something like that. Huh. Oh, because of the texture, it's like... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I just noticed there's beans in this taco. Oh, I shit. mean, you know... <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> it's it's rare that we don't have anything good to say about the tacos, but this is one of those things where this spot, and this spot itself is really nice. The cashier was really nice, but these tacos, they're just, they're not good. It's just the truth. Uh-huh. 
as he takes a big bite of one of them. <laughs> I could tolerate the asada, but the fish does not taste good. That's why I don't like it. I mean, you know, when you're eating something, you don't want to just be tolerating it. You want to be enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, that was the whole point, right, of yeah. eating? <laughs> Oh man, you guys let me down. I had high expectations for you guys. Oh well, not everybody can be home runs. Now they got a bunch of good reviews. Mm -hmm. They are also, I mean, Puerto Azul is known for seafood. So the fish should have been amazing. Cause no, that's a place known for seafood, you know? But this is Puerto Nuevo, right? Well, I'm saying like a port, you know, like uh, ports, ports in general. Usually ports are like by the water, right? No, that's just the name of the spot. <laughs> yeah, but usually they those are like cities close to the water. You know, let me try that. How was that dark red sauce? See if I can drown out this old fish flavor. Oh man, I don't know if you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna have success, bro. But <laughs> it's not it's not that great, bro. No wonder something smelled bad. Yeah. Uh, it had to be that fish. Man, did I call it or did I call it, folks? Close. Yeah. I called it. But this guy directing me. I just I like to give it a, a shot you know I like to think that they're gonna be good but it's like fuck they're oh. <laughs> putting a band-aid on it I'm just surprised that they got even talked about right they had written about some food reviewer did they talk about a fish? Yeah, um, what was it what taco was it Ricardo Diaz mm -hmm. featured them in the Salinas Californian what taco was it I don't know, um, but I did take a clip of it, so oh. I showed it in the video. Maybe they can pause it and see. Hopefully, it's not the tacos, because that's definitely nothing to talk about. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe their seafood is amazing, but we just didn't try that. I doubt it. <laughs> we did try it. We're trying to fish. Ah, uh, that's true. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but maybe there are other plates. Their non taco dishes might be good. Well, at least we know to the first two places we have something good to talk about and choose from so with that we go to verdict favorite place and favorite taco i'll go first so my favorite place hmm obviously is gonna be between the first and the second place i'm gonna go with the first place first place they have a lot of variety of foods um, the tacos are less expensive than the second place and the quality is obviously really delicious and really friendly people uh, lots of parking can't go wrong with that spot favorite taco this is gonna be a tough one you know what? I'm going to give it to the shrimp taco in the first place. Oh, Because man. it has that rice, that bed of rice, which is very new to me. I don't think I've ever tried that. It's bell peppers and onions and a, a bed of rice, Mexican rice. And then they slap the the nice juicy shrimp, big size too, which I like. So it gives it a nice crunch. That one's perfect. That's my favorite taco. Okay. But my, my favorite spot. Yes, master. <laughs> I'm trying to get my breath here. This guy's having me put away the garbage. Please. My favorite spot actually is this last one. Wow. I know I talked a lot of shit up now. I'm just wait, what? this last one. Like, wait a minute. It is not this last spot. <laughs> no, my favorite spot is the second one. The one with the long name we can't really remember. <laughs> Californian Mexican Taco Grill. Something like restaurant. That. It's it restaurant. Has restaurant in there. Restaurant Grill. <laughs> no, that's my favorite spot. Really charming beach vibes. Mm -hmm. You know, cool, a cool medium-sized spot, and then, you know, two home home run tacos. How can it not be my favorite spot? They were mm. two out of two. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> favorite taco? Ooh, that was that's a tough one. I mean, those mm -hmm. those were two home runs there at that mm -hmm. second spot. Yeah. Man, it's between the the barbacoa and the fish we had there, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, there I like them both. So <laughs> I have to go with the fish. You know, I have. It's a special place in my heart for fish tacos when they're done well. Mm. And that one was really done well, chopped up, mm. like we said, so there's more flavor. Uh, you know, the cabbage, the use of the cabbage for not just the added crunch, but just the way it looks, you know, mm. the co color contrast in the green and the purple is great. Mm -hmm. The tortilla, the freshly made tortilla, that's a mm. little bit puffy, but that it's, nice. yeah. 
Nuz got some question. Good integrity. Yeah, I, I, it's it's a it's a no brainer to me. Two mm -hmm. out of two home runs. That's that's my favorite spot, and that's my favorite taco with the honorable mention to the shrimp taco from the first place. Because like you said, mm -hmm. not only was it very delicious, but it was very unique. Mm -hmm. You don't see rice being used in tacos, especially with shrimp. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, so you see rice and tacos is not necessarily a bad sign. The bunch uh -huh. of lettuce, uh -huh. as you can see, it's it's definitely <laughs> it's, a bad it's, sign. It's becoming a, it's a red flag. It's probably going to be in our pro tip handbook or something. <laughs> yeah, of, of choosing yeah the best there's time. a bunch of lettuce. Don't even bother with the taco. Yeah, it, it's funny because we might actually have to come up with a, a guide to eating good tacos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you see a lot of lettuce. It's it, funny, you know, people think like tacos, you know how much, you know what, <laughs> how much difference could there be, right? They're just tacos. It's like, oh, you'd be surprised, folks. What's another thing before we wrap up that you would say it's a red flag for a bad taco? Uh, I would say really soggy tortillas that are breaking apart. Mm. It's a red flag too. Mm -hmm. uh, the, yeah. That's a, that's a big red flag because it just, it, it just goes to show you that quality isn't that important to them what about forgetting to add the lime or salsa? Uh, not necessarily because you know we've had plenty of tacos where it was just good on its own that's true so no, but it, may, it would would have been a lot better it would have been right? a lot yeah. better but yeah but no, i don't to me that's not a red flag, not a red flag. it's just it's just kind of nice to have but yeah yeah how about you what do you think uh red flag or did I just nail it on the head? <laughs> wow. I think I did. <laughs> you nailed your part, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not necessarily a red flag, but for me would be a less enjoyable taco would be if it's not handmade. Then it's not going to be on the top tier taco list. You're already to start with, because think about it, if, if they're doing handmade tortillas, chances are they're going to put more quality, more time to every other thing they're doing. I mean, goddamn, they're doing handmade tortillas. like. That's time consuming, labor intensive, whatever. So sure enough, you're gonna get a good taco if it's handmade. So that's pro tip right there. Oh, you know what's another red flag I just thought of? If the cashier doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you think so? Nah, I'm just playing. No, I was nah, like, nah. Nah. <laughs> nah, I don't think He talks so. to the cashier, so I really don't. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> what about if your food is warm versus hot? Um, you think that is not a... Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think as much. I think it maybe it's a. Uh, it's another one of those things where it won't be top tier, but I don't think it means that it won't be good. Like I'm not a red flag that hey, it's gonna be a bad one if it's not. Yeah, I don't, th I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be bad. It's not gonna. It's not a guarantee that it's gonna be bad. It's you know, it's likely that it's not gonna be like top tier. It won't be a home run, but it could still be a solid four out of five. And uh, one last thing. We we obviously prefer the styrofoam plates or oh yeah plates. oh yeah uh, yeah when being just wrapped <laughs> up in foil yeah. you roll it up like a burrito that is annoying but yeah it's kind of I uh, sorry I forgot to close the window geez, the I know you can hear everything and over right, here right, right. Yeah, well, we're ending now but uh, there <laughs> everything you go. but us hey, <laughs> there you go <laughs> no but yeah that's super annoying when I mean and I'm sure they have a reason maybe they're a high traffic volume type of place that just gets a lot of traffic so it makes sense for them to just do a quick little wrap with uh foil. but you know it makes it hard to eat it just messes the taco all up it's not a burrito it's <laughs> yeah, not meant but, to be wrapped up like but i that. feel like it's for those people that work they're on the go mm -hmm. so they're driving they're eating with one hand you know it's yeah like, you know easy yeah ready to go so well i guess order a burrito then <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to get full uh, over. Maybe they just want one taco or two. i know i know i'm just being <laughs> silly <laughs> that is my niche <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching once again please subscribe because i know most of you guys are not subscribed mm -hmm. and you're gonna miss out because we might do another giveaway and you're not gonna know so be subscribed follow us on ig at imv the eats and mike libuna i'll see you down here and on youtube mike and chris on this right up top yep and yeah it's almost 2021 guys can you guys believe We've been uh, eating tacos for yeah, how many year? episodes have you you've been eating tacos for a whole year? <laughs> well, you've been eating tacos for a good minute too, though. Oh, uh, only for the last half, right? <laughs> only when I got back into the country in June. Yeah. yeah so the last half of the year. Yeah. But mm. oh, well, this is what thirty-one. But we we stuffed a lot of tacos in the last half of the year because you got Ooh. really consistent. Oh yep. yeah. Half. I came back. Um. Yeah. <laughs>
It's a lot of tacos. You're gonna need to come up with a New Year's resolution for tacos. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, we'll have a, a cool video for you guys on, you know, what happened throughout the year. And yeah, do that. something different, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't forget, if you go to any of the restaurants, tag me and uh, on IG. You know, I am Vita Eats. I am Vita Eats. Say what's up. Let me know that you like the tacos or not, or what could be improved, or just tell us what other tacos you want. Yeah. Peace. Chowsers. Really thought that was such a cool thing that YouTube did where they turned your picture into like a subscribe button um, when you hover over it. Yeah. Because at first I thought, oh, is that someone else doing that on their own? <laughs> I was like, no, that's a YouTube feature. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. And now you could use, well, if you're using the YouTube app, you could tap on the, the last suggested videos versus before you couldn't do that. Oh, really? Yeah. I think. Oh yeah, that's right. Mm. It's only on the on a computer on a browser. Well, now you can do it. Oh wow! As long as you have the app, I, I believe. That's awesome. YouTube, YouTube you're doing a great job. <laughs> Shout out to YouTube. Cheers.